Hello again everybody, and welcome to another stream of Thomas Was Alone, where we're just gonna continue where we left off, where I was falling asleep. The others seem suspicious of Laura, and the eager Can I choose my level? Because I don't know what's going on. Hmm? Okay, so this is where you first meet Laura. Laura was pleased this one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. This game is Thomas was alone. Maybe they could just have a conversation. The game that seems to be mostly about shapes he didn't find out that have emotions do. and feelings and things she like that. Never happen, so long as they stayed separate. I was half asleep when on this part, so I'm a little bit behind in the story. Pixel cloud. It had been following I remember a few time. things though. It had kept itself. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just. Seems fun. It is fun. <laughs> I really like this game. They'd all bounce too, and then they disappeared right. when her back was turned. Wait. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remains, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. But I would suggest playing this game, it's very fun. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there. On another platform or something. Don't do this. Oh, wait, no, I think I remember. Let's be Laura and go here. She looks kind of like Thomas. Ah! You Dallas on Xbox? You'll check in the morning if you remember. Alright. I don't know if it's on Xbox, as I don't play on that console anymore. Dang it. What's that mean? Oh, it means I'm just not a fan of Xbox anymore. Yeah. I played that thing for years. Was in love. She was perfect. I don't remember I this. Tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment. The large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about that. Yeah. Probably best to wait. I think. I can't get Laura to cross with Chris. Can Chris jump these? Yeah, he can. Okay, so I can just have Laura go on her own. And then I have to actually do this. Yes, I can. Just didn't know if I could or couldn't. Chris is a low jumper, after all. Oh. Alright, now we're with... Chris, John, I think, and... Thomas. Which is which? Chris. This is Chris. ...disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with... His new girlfriend. I was so tired when playing this. This is John, super tall and large, and he's very strong, which is why he has such a high jump. This is Thomas, the main character, one may, one may say. 
He's pretty well-rounded, even though he's not a circle, but a rectangle. And basically, so far, the story goes, Chris doesn't like anyone except for Laura. Who's his supposed girlfriend? Oh. Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. Okay, I was apparently very tired when I got to this part. Uh, I think for this we need John. John, who can jump large distances on his own. He doesn't need help from anybody. So he's a semi-hater? Oh, not semi. Ah. Wait a second. How do I get Chris out of here? Dang it. I have to restart. Okay. Time to skill without the issue. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. Okay, then we go to Chris, I think. Skill solution this time? Yeah! Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend? Okay, I think this is where I need John. I loud, How did I do this better when I was I more than half asleep? Didn't even try bringing Chris in there. Okay, so the this is where we were. Suspicious of Laura and the hmm? eager-looking pixel cloud of death, which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Cause... And always there. Dang. Brain not worry about other things. Brain want to complete game. That's what you think. That makes sense. You could ask anything and I'd never know. Especially when tired. Oh, but this might not be on Xbox now that I think about it. Because I use the touchpad to switch my... ...shapes. Do I call them shapes? People? What do I... Beings? Beings of mass destruction. Dang it. Oh, I might need John here. Okay, so I take Laura. Creatures. Oh, yeah. I'll call it. I'll refer to them as that then. Huh? The others wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling, hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? How do I do this? Never mind, I think I see. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a bit. John couldn't make it! Yay! That's so nice. Oh, I see. I see you. True romance. Wait. Okay, so now I just need Thomas.
Okay, so that works. Now I just need to get you. Barely got Thomas on? Yep. If he's on too much, it... wait, no. I'm thinking about Laura. Can't have Laura on too much. Rude. <laughs> That was confusing. What even happened? I wasn't paying attention. I do question why they're suspicious of Laura, though. Wait, how am I supposed to... I'm certain I have to get Laura up here, so how do I get Laura up? She can't jump on top of John. Maybe if I use... Thomas? <laughs> Funny. Maybe with precise skill, I can get Christopher underneath and then she'd be high enough? No, that just seems like it'd be too much at that point. Maybe there's a button I'm missing. Nope. Oh wait, I think I know what to do. Get Chris on top of Thomas. Move Laura, like, that's Chris. Move Laura here. Then get Thomas to move. Move Laura on top of John, and then... Ow. And then the... Okay, I need to move this entire setup a bit. Or not! Turns out I really don't. Oh, it's time to stream! Hold up, I gotta turn off the watch. Shut up! You don't think I need to? Nah, I'm surprised. How did Chris up there? I need John! Thomas, move a little. John, come back down. Chris, I need you to move to jump on top of John. Of course. Thomas. Dang it. They should be able to move on top of it. But whatever. There it is. So, I just have to do this and wait for it to eventually work. That sounds fun. Eventually, they'll come together. No! <laughs> Should have waited. Okay, so I can't jump when it's going up. And now, eventually, this will work. Seems like Chris is the main one I need to time. Yeah. Skill. Oh, we have Paula? I forget all the names, as I'm not very good with them in general. Uh. Ah. Need to get you on. Thomas, I want you to move a little. I should probably get pa Laura on top of Christopher. Move Thomas to where he gets... Christopher has to go in there, not the other way around. So let's get John back up here. Let's move Paula. Let's move Laura this way. Christopher like this. I just realized we need Laura over here. Dang it. We need to move Laura again. I'm gonna forget all these names. Laura liked her new gang. Huh. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. So she considers them friends, but 
for the most part, they don't. What a rude bunch of blocks. So get Christopher to hit this, and then we jump back down. We get John to do the same thing. We need to move you, or we'll die. Oh. Not nice blocks. Yeah, they're kind of mean. They make Minecraft look bad. Let's move Christopher a little. Let's move you to where this, you'll fit directly inside. I just remembered she can hang off a little. I hope this is good enough. Wait, let's move you directly there, and then we'll use you to hit this. Come on. I don't trust it. I don't like it. Okay, so let's get you up here and use Chris too. But music kind of slaps though. Yeah. It's such good music that I was falling asleep just yesterday. Too tiny. Is there a way to get you on top of John? You're a little higher than the platform, I could probably... Get Paul on top of you, and then Chris goes from... No, actually, Paula moves a little to the side. Thomas goes here. Wait, can you jump? Oh, you can! I forgot about that. Wait, I need to bring Chris back. <laughs> Alright, so Chris, get in. You... Please say I don't have to restart from the begin. I have to restart from the beginning. Okay, cool. Alright, with more precision this time. So this time I turn into Chris. Didn't want to fall any other time, but whatever I finally do it that way. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. Okay, then you go and do this. Whew, this is... There's no way Laura will fall off now, right? There it is. Now I just need to f Now the music is basically making me think of Celeste. I don't know why... Maybe I'm crazy. side get you to jump out I wish I remembered your name but surprisingly you're the only one's name I don't remember only one whose name I don't remember so can you jump while others are on top of you getting closer no you're spending more and more time hovering around Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable everyone sticks together but Thomas leaves the group Okay, so I think the most logical one to send first will be you, John, because he's so easy. Then probably Christopher, because he's one of the more difficult ones, being that he doesn't jump high. Then maybe Paula? I'm gonna keep calling her Paula. Thomas, why? Come on, please take Paula. Paula won't die from this, right? Oh, she's dead. Okay, so I need to move Christopher. <laughs> so 
is Christopher Little, John, Paula. Now about you can't jump that, so I need to get Thomas to help you here. Come on. Oh no. I might have to bring her to the other side. It seems possible. Just gotta wait for this. Thomas leaving makes sense since the game name is Thomas Was Alone. What's well, Thomas Was Alone? There's no saying he's alone anymore. Yep. Maybe he's not lonely anymore. No simulation can support too many entities. At a certain point, something was. has to. Well, I can't see that. Maybe it wasn't... Then was. Maybe. Has to give... If Thomas AT23612 hadn't possessed those... Ex ah, well, I couldn't read it. Thomas did not like the cloud. Hold up. Hadn't possessed... Blah, 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 blah. Those exact personality traits, it's likely the story would have ended there. We... We'd still be in business. Oh, well, I'm confused. Hard he to read. He stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. And of he'd course. be right about the water. So you're saying we have to find a way to get away from that cloud thing. I need you to get up there. Crush. Wait, we need to get Paula to the fight. Why? Why is this game so mean? What did we do to you? Maybe like this staircase? Yeah. Okay, so it goes Paula. No, Laura. Then Thomas. Thomas, Laura, Paula, John, Chris. So now do I get Laura up here? No, Paul, I'm getting the name so wrong, dude. Okay, so all the boys should be fine on their own. After all, none of them have to really get past Paula. Can Thomas jump this? Yes, he can. Okay, so we can go with Paula first. Dang, I could go with Laura first. Uh, I'm so bad with names. Can I just get Thomas to go here? Oh, uh, yeah, I can. I just figured that was a more fun way. Huh? Wait, John, John, please, John, no, John. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I think I have to get Thomas over here. I think I know how. We want you to go up here, and then we're going to get Paul on top of Thomas. Then we're going to have... You go underneath here. Can Paula jump on top of you from this? No, she cannot. Maybe from here, though. And if Paula can jump on top of you from here, that makes Thomas's job easier. Dang it, need to not do that. So we'll move you to the side like this. Then we get Thomas to jump Thomas here. Could tell Chris was in love. And that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the Doom Cloud keep following them. Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. I feel like Thomas is not going to put his foot down. That doesn't work. I feel like if Thomas actually puts his foot down, Chris is going to leave the group.
Oh wait, Thomas, please. How do I get... Never mind. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, it is supposed to be like this. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Huh? Chris. Miss Thomas. That's surprising. Wow. Did not see that coming. He felt a little guilty too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. So Thomas is gone now. Is that, like, a permanent thing? I think I need to get John. What? Called it. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wait, Laura can jump over. No, no, Paula can jump over. Okay. Dang, what am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, I think I get it. Can I use you, like... A trampoline, exactly. No, I cannot. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Christopher can get... Why didn't I think of throwing you up here? You fit. Oh, wait. If that works, I can do this. Experience jumper achievement. Jump 1,600 times. Okay, cool. Let's put Paula on Laura, then jump across using Paula. Or that. <laughs> if only I could put Paula on Laura. Laura cannot jump high enough to get on top of Paula. But, luckily, this, dang it, this worked. Was there a button for Chris? Okay, jump! Three, two, jump! I really have to jump? This should mean... Oh, do I still need Chris? Looks like it. Ah, wait, no, I'm dumb. Now I need to send you back. I pulled an unsmart. Paula can go underneath. Laura can go underneath. I'm so bad with names. So we send you back. Then we send you with John. I feel like John knows every bathroom type. And I don't know why. Except I do. And then jump. Are we Thomas? No, we're Chris. Just Chris? Chris wondered if Thomas was still alive somewhere. Is this fair? Checking for secrets at all times. looking for him, but he did want her, <laughs> and that, that showed character. Nope, dying. Got it. Okay, I could have, as we all can see, I could have easily done this hit list. I just wanted that secret. The trophy. Chris. Maybe the others hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It begun to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed. Wait, wait, I'm stuck. No. 
Oh, I wasn't stuck. That was surprising. Oh, I can't move any further right. Do this. Okay, I don't think so. What I can do though is get you on top of here. That was close. <laughs> If I put you here, nothing happens. If I put you here, still nothing happens. What happens if I bring John here? It doesn't work. Is there something I'm missing? Can I get a running start? No. What happens if I have Laura jump into it? Normally that works. Is there seriously nothing I'm missing here? The only logical solution I have is that I have to jump off of this. Like that! Okay, so now I found where you have to be. What? No, stop! Why? <laughs> How kind and considerate, and is that another one? It is. Laura button. The death button of do- Is there more? Why? <laughs> Skill. That level is probably the hardest one I've done so far. Don't do it again. Okay, it's just a way up for Laura. I really hope that this blue square's name is Paula. Because that's just all I've been calling her. No? What do you mean, no? Uh, pink Paula. Laura had been the best. No, it, no pink is Laura. Lunch, but she wasn't needed anymore. I think this one's name is Paula, but I don't remember. It's been a night, and I was half asleep. Okay, so you go up here. Oh no, John's gonna die now. Blue Paula Pink Lore? Yeah. I can always go in the previous levels to figure it out. <gasps> I thought John was gonna die. Because Pink Paula makes sense. Yeah, it would, John but... Looked at Claire! Claire! <laughs> it was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about... 
a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea. So her name is Claire. So glad I remembered this whole time. Whew. So we were both wrong? Yeah. Can't really say I'm surprised though. Running. Another yellow? Yep. Okay. Should be all of it. Do I have to run? Oh, I do! If I don't, I die. Huh. Eat this. Oh, it restarts the whole thing. Okay, so you get off. Lone survivor? Find both trophy pickups and purge. Wait, I did that backwards. No, stop! could do this much faster and better if I had skill. Okay, I guess I have to try that thing out. Okay, yeah, I was putting too much effort into those other things. Could have just done this. Speeding wall not nice? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Fish are friends, not food. Let's get you there. The same thing happened twice? You mean where I died in the... Died in the water? Like that? gonna be too speedy. Except Claire didn't get crushed by spikes. Yep. Meaning it's just John who's dying. Because only Claire is immune to the water. As they struggle to get to the next portal, John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. Wait, what? He didn't want to be alone. Okay, I'm taking too long again. I was supposed to bring John up to the top. Got it. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Remember I said that other level may have been the hardest? Yeah, this one's currently taking the cake. 
Okay, that one may have been my fault. <laughs> for keeping John a little bit on the edge. Oh, come on, oh, it's right there. What? Oh, wow, that makes this so much easier. As they struggle to get to the next... Come on, come on, John come on, come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was the end. Let's not risk this. Fred's gonna come over tomorrow, so you won't be here the next stream. You will be here Sunday. Alright. Wait. Next stream is Sunday. Oh, dang it. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed empty. Hmm. Is that gonna kill me? Didn't want to risk it. 4.1. He'll be here. He'll be there at like 12. You don't know your brain didn't register that is Saturday. That it is Saturday. <laughs> Dang it. Slipping. And sliding. Gee. I have no idea what fell, but I'd have to assume water. And dying. Oh, well, that's more accurate. Oh, that kills you. Slipping and sliding and dying rhymes nice. Yeah, it does. Surprisingly so. Slipping, sliding, dying, and running. It's got a nice ring to it. And so the cycle repeats. Yep. But now I've finished it. What is going on? Yeet! school, which is technically the definition of insanity in a way. You mean doing the same thing over and over, expecting something to change? That's kind of literally what school is. Because it doesn't change. <laughs> Dang it! Yep. Oh! This is fun. Little does this game know my skill does an issue. I almost got it right first try. Dang it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now this time, let's actually make it. Dang it. <laughs> if 
only didn't throw me up every single time. Is there a way to make it to where I'm just like on the ground? There it is. No. Oh, that's just it. <clears throat> may or may not be laughing at me. I think my skill doesn't issue because you bet my death stat and Isaac can testify that. <laughs> it, it, maybe. Hold up. I can't see it. The initial five are usually given the credit for the emergence. People forget the later architects, the AIs who made the event possible. They saved Thomas and set him on the path to his destiny. Who's this? So can yours, though. Sounds about right. So can anyone's, really. James had always been different. Hey, look, I'm here. I'm not different in that kooky. OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James. He's literally insane. Kind of way. It's James. Which is just the green Thomas. Also upside down. Oh, wait, I see. I'm supposed to go. You didn't know his character in this game? I didn't either. It's surprise. I have to do. Oh, I'm glad I didn't just. What happens if I just jump up? Thanks. Oh dang, I didn't think I'd make it that close to the edge. I wonder if there's a death count in this game too. <laughs> Maybe there's a death count for each character. Wait. Thank you. Uh, yep, being upside down seems to be my whole shtick. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. Oh, so it's because of that cloud thing. So that means Thomas and everyone else will be here too. From the real James, 648. My skill doesn't issue. He says this game disagrees indeed. Time. See, my skill is just so superb that I stuck to the edge of a wall like I was playing Celeste again. Oh, yeah, being reverse gravity is my whole shtick. Ah. To insult him, question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up? Ow. Dang it. But yes, I do like being alone. I'm surprised they knew. Idiots. Now, what is it? Dang, James. You're a little... a little meaner. Just slightly. Wait, I see that. Sound like a conversation you have with your friend. Makes sense. Defying gravity. Find both trophy pickups and invert. So we have Thomas and James here. Who are basically the same person. This is so weird. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let's say that didn't happen. wants friends? Seems very anti-characteristic. I 
If only I could move him at the same time. Thomas had no idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. So Thomas doesn't like James. <laughs> We're basically twins. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. Oh, so this is for James. Better. We'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. I don't. How does... I have an idea. Do I do this? Dang it. So that means that that thing right there is actually supposed to be a hint, I'd assume. Wait, do I go here or do I go to the other side? <laughs> what? <laughs> this makes sense, but it's weird. I was wondering what would happen if that happened, so I think we figured it out. Because both their gravities are inverted, if they walk on each other's feet, it's the same. They just float in midair. And that's what I think they want me to do here. Apparently just fly, yeah. And now if one of them dies, they both lose. I think what I want to do is give a big jump here. It's so weird. Cool. So what? What am I supposed to? Ah. Achievement unlocked flight. I wish. But this is, I think, the main this premise. James and Thomas working together could get anywhere. Huh? James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. Yeah, wrong text box. Wait, wait, could I have just done this? Oh. Yes, I could have. Sorry, my skill was just so immense that I was doing the wrong thing. This is what happens when you're a try hard. Yeah. So I was wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. So I got them mixed up because of what I did. That's cool.
I didn't even have to do the cool thing. <laughs> James will go here. Thomas will go up. James! James! Wrong one. Oh, but I must say this is... ...grudgingly helped Thomas to each portal. He knew that Wait. eventually they'd find the others. Then he'd go back to being the weird one again. He decided to enjoy the time they had left. Hmm. James, you seem awfully pessimistic. Wait, I wasn't supposed to go here, was I? I have an idea. James is better because inverted gravity and is a funny Twitch streamer who has 69 followers. The best of numbers. Thomas has none in his real life because he doesn't stream. I can imagine a Thomas playing this game already. Ah, that's what this is for. But 69 followers while me and James... No, me and Thomas. Thomas and James are just on each other's faces. Sounds nice. Hmm. James jump the gap. Okay, James can jump the gap. Ninety-six. Yep. Walking on each other's feet. Can one of them die? Spooky. Did Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird color? <laughs> Funny. Did he not care about his inversions? Ow, my face. I use that typically. Dang it. Boom. Ah, it actually wants me to do it now. Hey, Noah. <laughs> Noah would say he's just like you. Racist. You don't know if it would be a joke or not. It's hard to tell anymore. Am I playing Flappy Bird, but I basically get to control it? You're saying that Noah's w that no that's Noah's words. He would be calling himself racist, not you. You really want to clear that up. Okay, thanks. So I'm going to try rereading this.
I don't get it. James was having fun for the time being. I like the character development in this game. James, move! James! <laughs> Awareness is a word that gets thrown around a lot, and a lot of people consider Thomas to have been created aware. Looking back at the logs, it seems that awareness only happened somewhere around the network connection spike. Double jump is Sarah by hitting left. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Hmm. It's very hard to tell if the Queso's cousin-looking person you're friends with is racist or not. And yes, that is an insult, but you also call him... That's a lot longer of a message than I thought. You also call him Onion, because he has layers sometimes. Wait, he has layers. Sometimes you decide which one hurts more. Oh, I decide which one hurts more. Being called Queso's cousin or being racist? I don't know. Neither of them seem too bad to me. Like, I mean, racism is bad and all, but. As an insult, I mean. She spoke in terms she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom. Channel. Which all data flowed. Being called Queso's cousin or an onion because his chin has layers. Hmm. I don't know. An onion because your chin has layers. Borderline can make sense. I don't really get it. But kinda do. I'm not really an emotional type when it comes to insults, so I don't really understand, but I'm trying. It just doesn't seem very insulting to me. So mate, since Queso is an actual human being, maybe it wouldn't be Queso as the one that's an insult. He has like four chins from all the excess spat. So Not really an insult. Yeah, Sounds like one though. So she was like an eagle, a flea. What did that say? Or more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, Sarah, would know how to escape. Ah, uh, but. I don't think the queso one will be as insulting, since queso is like an actual person that exists. But maybe being called an onion, which is not even human, would be insulting? I don't know. The red one, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their hand. <laughs> for a lesser? She then helped them save their friends. Said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world. Would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marveled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. What? Oh. Is this permanent? Okay, now I'll read what you said. You go straight for their emotions when you insult people. 
you're really not a nice person if you don't like them. That makes sense. Sarah, but mostly if they the do something wrong. Of the outer world, she had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. A curve. Are we playing Minecraft now? Are they watching Rapunzel? Tangled? No. A single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. Hmm. Okay, so this is for him. Now I gotta do Thomas. Oh, uh, wow. Noah's not one of those people you go for their emotions, though. You just joke them unless he's making such a borderline insane joke that you wouldn't even cross the boundaries of, like, when he takes the, when he takes the, like, cover on a Gatorade bottle and starts whipping our... I'm not gonna say this. That's when, he, if you insult him, you actually go for his emotions. Huh? I don't know why I said, huh? Did something happen? I wasn't looking. Longer than I thought. Hmm. Oh, you mean the message you sent? It's a little long. Nothing that can't be read within a few minutes. Seconds? Oh, wait, I've been doing this for an hour? Hmm. They were close. Sarah, I just said with a pencil several times. Just one more portal to go. And then, she would have the knowledge. And then escape. Oh, I know it's good. Dang it. If this is the final portal, then after this one I'll end stream. Because today I'm not actually tired. What? Thomas looked at the glowing beam. Mm, this doesn't seem like the last one. The list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? This was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sam couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. And shouting. Screaming. So Sarah wants to get into that knowledge. This huge thing up here. I can see the square. What's happening now is Thomas is about to absorb all the knowledge of the universe. Basically. Stream it was going to end as soon as this level ended. Seconds, and he had seen everything. Oh no! He'd seen the cat who couldn't spell. He'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that it was a lie. He was on the internet for 12 seconds. That's too long. <laughs> Is he still saying, Thomas, my boy? How many fingers am I holding up? Can you still read? Are you still alive? POV looking at Twitter. Sounds about right. It's just oh, terrible. Or so I hear.
Is it gonna say seven anytime soon? Thomas knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They would just be on the next portal. It is very terrible. That sounds about right. I think it goes to James next. I don't think I'm gonna forget James's name. Would not recommend installing. Have you been there? Tic tac toe? I'm surprised Thomas didn't tell. Uh. It is fitting that the first act of sentient AI was an act of selflessness. The architects knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. Alright. But that's where I'm going to end it for today. Ah, my headphones. So thank you everybody for joining me for today's stream. I do hope you enjoyed it. If not, please do leave a suggestion for other games or something to play. But other than that, I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night, depending on where you're from. So, good night, everybody. Just reading that message, and bye-bye.